Thank you. How are you, Paul? Yeah, I'm very good, Lou. Paul and I also share a love of cars, so we usually end <laughs> up having a glass of wine talking cars. But today we should talk software analytics. So. Um, just before we get into like you know data and new relic, just tell me a bit about News Corp and you know there may be parts of News Corp people are less familiar with. There's some obvious brands that I think everyone knows, but take us on a tour of, of the company and what you guys are doing. Sure. So um, well, firstly, Lou, thanks for the invite today. It's a it's a pleasure to be here, and to see so much of the community in in one room. Um, so News Corp, we're a global media organisation, uh, predominantly in the English speaking territories, Australia, Europe, North America. Um, our business is kind of broken into a few areas. The traditional kind of news and information services, brands that you may well have heard of, Dow Jones, Factiva, Wall Street Journal, New York Post, Australian News.com, London Times, The Sun. Um, a lot of businesses there that are clearly have been going digital for 20 years or so, but the evolution of mobile has really started to accelerate that over the last two years. Uh, in other areas, we've also got lots of transactional businesses. So we own Realtor.com, the online real estate portal here in, in America. We've got the same sort of business called Real Estate Australia uh, down in Oz. Uh, and then we own a number of publishing properties as well. HarperCollins um, and Harlequin are two good examples of that. And some broadcast assets that you, you'll have heard of, Fox Sports is, yeah. is one of those. So uh, lots of kind of mix, but media is our, our game. Wonderful, and, and you've already mentioned it, but obviously a tremendous amount of change going on, particularly with mobile. So how has that affected your role within the company um, and how it relates to corporate strategy? Well, I think as a technologist working in the media space, it's the most creative space to be doing technology. And you've talked a lot about software this morning, Lou. Yeah. And, and for our business, our business is content wrapped with user experience, which for me equals product or software. Yeah. And if you'd have talked about content being part of software 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, that's just not in the DNA of, of the language uh, that, uh, that a lot of content creators taught, but now they kind of start to understand that. And from a consumer point of view, you know, if there's one bit of the experience that's broken, whether that's a video buffering or whether it's a search result not coming back instantaneously or whether that's the page load slowing, that has an immediate impact on that customer experience, the right. engagement, the loyalty, and the bottom line of the business. So it's exciting to be kind of working in this space, but it's become ever more complex. <laughs> Our architectures are kind of a mixture of really modern new stuff and some old stuff. And how you track and manage that chain of customer experience is something we're obsessed with. Um, how we gather data, uh, clearly in the old world when we were shipping physical products, um, we knew very little about the customer and what they were doing with those products. Now we can track everything within the click stream. We can map that with historical data. We can be predictive about what that means. And then we can overlay performance data that you throw off and generate and manage for us, all in a kind of single lens and single set of instrumentation to really optimize the business and, and really kind of make our customers and readers and viewers much more happy. Well, let's talk a bit then about how we first got engaged and <laughs> how New Relic kind of has played a role in helping you with digital. So yeah. So take, take me back in time from your vantage point of how well, you got. The, the thing I love about your product and your philosophy um, is the fact that it's really born amongst the engineering community. Um, that's how it started inside News Corp, actually underneath uh, Stephen Auburn, who's here talking for Amazon now. But Stephen was one of our finest CTOs in the, the businesses that we own and uh, really brought you guys in about two and a half years ago to start to think about DevOps, release management, product velocity, uh, and really kind of managing and instrumenting how our products are performing. Mm. And um, the engineering community all talk, and the great thing about that is if they like something, it spreads virally, mm. even globally. You know, we've got 4,000 engineers across News Corp. Wow. And if something's good, that spreads, and, and New Relic hit the grapevine immediately. I mean, the downside, if something bad, the engineers can kill it, but you yes. didn't fit into that category, you'd be, be glad to know. So that's, that's when it started to go viral, and then you, you were very kind to join us uh, maybe 18 months ago to address all of our CTOs. We've got 13 CTOs who work for me across the businesses, and uh, we got those guys excited, and we've taken it from just one of our business units to every single one of our business units now globally, and, and that means we can not only enable those business units to perform individually, but we can instrument now and compare across all of our global properties and spot where really good stuff is happening 
and where some not so good stuff is happening and share knowledge and experience. And it's, it's really helped us build a community. It's been fantastic. That's fantastic to see. Yeah, it's amazing how when you, um, when you have data that everyone can look at at the same time, the same data, all the, all the, the guards and defensiveness ties, melts away and people start problem solving together. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen that time and time yeah. again. So tell me a bit about, you, you were sharing last night, there was a <laughs> bit of a hiccup that happened last <laughs> July. Um, I, was, uh, I was actually uh, in Sun Valley with your boss um, when all of a sudden <laughs> a major stock exchange went down. So can you tell me what was going on back then? Yeah. And, and you were with him and he phoned me. So I don't know whether <laughs> it was because you were with him or because... Um, but on July the 8th, the New York Stock Exchange went down in New York, and you, you may have read about it or seen about uh, that. And we were, uh, the journal, Wall Street Journal, obviously a great financial uh, news organization, but also actually one of the first to report that issue. Um, got the story up immediately, tweeted the link, and we saw a 12x increment in traffic within about eight seconds of the tweet going out. And, and usually we would kind of manage and cater for that Okay, we, we're used to big news stories breaking and we're kind of very smart about how we scale, except human error had crept into our architecture. We run on Amazon and auto scaling uh, on that particular property had, had not been configured properly. And th these things happen. I don't, I'm not ashamed to say these things. I mean, these things happen. And, but the most important thing is uh, we had your technology in place and within about 30 seconds of the issue happening, we were able to identify what the, what the cause of the issue was and within three minutes, we fixed it. And if I wind back two years ago, I mean, that, that would have been probably 20 engineers scrambling in a data center or server room looking for what wire to plug back in. And uh, so the sophistication of the software and the kind of the ability. And repeated phone calls from Sun Valley for the, the, the phone call from Sun update. Valley. I think we fixed it by the time we got that, that phone call. Nice. But, um, <laughs> which was a, always a good which thing. Which is a relief. But um, and then, you know, obviously, uh, becoming more intelligent and more predictive is kind of where we're going next. Yeah. So can you spot the issue before it occurs? Yes. Can we work closely with New Relic and Amazon together to actually get smart? And I think uh, off the back of that, we've really focused on product velocity. We've moved nearly three quarters of our compute power. We had 65 data centers, about 20,000 servers. Uh, we've taken three quarters of that entirely into the pub public cloud with, with Amazon. Um, wow. And that, you know, we did that for speed, velocity, agility purposes, not, I mean, cost, we've saved a hell of a lot of money along the way, but actually the speed is worth more to us. And, and New Relics helped us actually plan that, carry the cut over um, out, and then look at it immediately afterwards to make sure everything's running as it should be. And that, again, you, you're kind of integral to that kind of core process, which well, is that's, important. That's fantastic. We see that time and time again. Um, that, that as customers move to the cloud, you know, having a partner to help them make that successful is one of the things we, we love to help people do. Well, Paul, it's been an, uh, a pleasure working with you personally and your team and the great people across News Corp. And, and thank you for spending time with us. Thank today. you, Lee. Thank Congrats. you for coming. Thank you.